Merci, Madame. Thank you very much, Madame President. Colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, on the 24th of February 2022, we saw a tragedy of history, an unjustified illegal war of aggression against Ukraine. And this showed us that peace was very precarious. And I said very clearly, we cannot let Russian imperialism absorb Ukraine. We cannot allow Russia to violate the sovereignty of Ukraine or threaten international order and peace. However, the re resolution that you're proposing today is problematic on several levels. E each member state uh, would have to um, contribute 0.5 percent of the GDP per year. That'd be 7 billion euros in France per year. That's mentioned in the resolution. We, these two propose the proposals, for example, to for Ukraine to enter NATO would is very problematic for us. This could lead to an escalation of the war, and the resolution would also threaten the survival of our economy and farming because it would severely impact the common agricultural policy. This um, resolution condemns the visits by Viktor Orban to Russia. We can't accuse Hungary, a key partner in the uh, transatlantic alliance, of, of impacting things negatively when they are trying to open discussions. There's, um, will you condemn this at the peace summit in November? And it's also an issue of war material, ammunition and military production in Europe. For too long, this has been hindered by green objectives, which have hindered our technological and, in, and defense industry. The overall long-term response in Europe is to focus on strategic autonomy, focusing on its agricultural and industrial independence. And in the strategic agenda, France need to play, needs to play a key role in focusing on strategic and defence infrastructure in the east of Europe, based on all of the material in the world. France will also focus on key alliances, and our country should never um, um, sway from that. Thank you very much. I give the floor next for the ECR group uh, to Joachim Brzezinski. Dziękuję, Pani Przewodnicząca.